Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as you will recall, I am doing a 1930 Senators replay in action PC baseball. And uh, we are looking at the standings right now, and currently we're 43 and 22 and winning the American League by three games over the Yankees. Now, the Yankees, in real life, I believe, finished third in the division. Um, and the um, Philadelphia Athletics actually won the uh, American League. I, I said division, I meant league. The uh, Philadelphia Athletics actually won the league in 1930 uh, with like 102 wins, I think. And so you can see they clearly are not on that pace. Also, the bottom three teams here are St. Louis, Chicago, and Boston. Now, those three teams were actually the bottom three teams in that order, 6th, 7th, and 8th in the American League. However, Boston, as you can see, is for some reason 9-56, and 56, which is an ungodly terrible record. And the actual Boston Red Sox in 1930 were 52 and 102. Bad, yes. Not biblically bad like this record is. In fact, their actual winning percentage was 338. And as you can see right here, Boston's winning percentage in our season is only 138. So I don't know, uh, you know, realism here with this game might be taking an ass whooping. But um, uh, we are in first right now and we're enjoying that three game lead. And we are going into a game with um, the uh, St. Louis Browns, I believe. And let's find our game. Um, well, we're going to auto play. Let's see. Let me make sure that we've got. Yes, we do. We are playing the Browns. So let's auto play these other games and see what happens there. Um, and in these, and you can watch as these unfold. Uh, Philadelphia beat Detroit 3-1. That's our first American League result, I believe. And um, Cleveland, New York. Cleveland beat New York 4-3. Boston and Chicago, here we go. 9-56. They're taking that 9-56 record in. And they lose to Chicago 5 nothing, And they drop to 9-57. Kind of, I want to say, unrealistic? So anyway, uh, we will, oh, and it, it looks like it's a double header for today. So with Boston and Chicago, even better. And uh, they, they did, Chicago beats them again, three to two. So we are going to uh, play this game against St. Louis. They are 29 and 39. We are 43 and 22. And I am going to be human. St. Louis is going to be the computer. And we are going to play the game. And uh, let's see here. I guess we're all ready to go. Let me, uh, yeah, let me see here. We're going to go computer lineups. I always do that. Um, especially 1930. I mean, it's it's pretty cut and dried who the who the guys who played were. Um, and we will say okay, and we're going to do play ball. And so we've got uh, Dolph. I think his name is Dolph Liska on the mound. And it looks like there's one down. Let me see. No. Yes, yes, there is. So we're pitching to the second batter, and he's going to lift it up, probably in a fly ball to center field for the second out. And that brings up Goslin. Goose Goslin. 
Not Goose Island. We have Goose Island, don't we? Um, Red Cress is the batter. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, Goose Island. I thought we had Goose Island. All right. And maybe that was in an earlier year. I don't know. Anyway, there's a fly ball. No, that might be a home run. No, it's an out. Was it an out? Yes, it is an out. So we're going to the bottom of the first. And uh, they've got Lefty Stewart on the mound, and Buddy Meyer is hitting. And he's going to make it. Yeah, he's he's safe at first. And then that brings up uh, George Lope. And he's going to walk. Yeah, I guess it's two walks here to lead off this uh, inning. And uh, Lefty Stewart's already in trouble. And Heine Manouche is up for us, the left fielder. And he's going to hit the ball into possibly a double play and move the runner over to third. So, yes, that's exactly what happens. There's two down with a man 90 feet away. And the old Cronin, Joe Cronin, is up against Lefty Stewart. And that's going to be a base hit and knock in a run. And it's a double, too, to boot. So uh, it is one nothing with a man at second, two down here in the first. And Dave Harris is the batter. And he walks. That brings up Joe Judds. Joe Judge batting kind of low in the batting order than I'm used to. This is really weird because this is kind of a way different lineup that I'm used to uh, seeing for us when I put in computer lineup. But anyway, uh, we're winning one nothing. That's the important thing. And Ted Gulick is the batter against, uh, oh, Ad Liska, not Dolph Liska. And that's going to be, looks like Judge will make the play, and that's one down. And uh, Ski, Mali, M Ski Milo. And that's going to be a pop-out to the catcher. So there's two down quickly, and Frank O'Rourke is the batter for the Browns. And he is going to draw a walk. That brings up Rick Farrell, the catcher. And Rick Farrell looks like he's going to fly out to center, which is exactly what happens. We go to the bottom of the second here with Lefty Stewart pitch, pitching to Ozzie Blue Edge. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. And uh, Roy Spencer is the catcher. And Roy Spencer is going to ground out to shortstop. It looks like. And there is two down. And and uh, Ad Liska is batting against Lefty Stewart. And he's going to ground out. And that'll probably... that's pro No! It, was, it looks like it was an error. An error or a bad play or whatever. So now we've got two runners on and Buddy Meyer up with two down. And he walks. And, uh, yeah. And we've got George Lope up. Kind of hard to tell really what's going on. Ah, that's going to be a base hit. And that's going to be a huge base hit. It's going to knock in uh, a couple of runs, yes. And he might even get a triple out of it. Or going to third on the throw or whatever. Um, but, yeah, we got two runs on that, and now a man 90 feet away, and Heine Manouche is the batter. And it looks like he's going to pop out or fly out here, pop out to second base. So uh, we do get two in the second. We got a 3 nothing lead on St. Louis going to the top of the third. Liska still out there dealing, and uh, there's one down, and then we've got the next bad. Next batter is going to hit a real rocket to right field and get a triple out of it. So St. Louis will have a man at third with one down, and um, Badgro is the uh, is the batter, Red Badgro. And he is going, let's see, Bagro grounded to short, throw home, out chance is only 22%. Um, I'm going to say no. We're going to just get the uh, guy at first base. Uh, we got a three, we had a three nothing lead, so now it's three one. And um, that brings Goose Goslin up. 
and Goose Goslin is going to pop out to third. So St. Louis goes, uh, well, not really very quickly, but they do get a run. So they have a three to one lead with Joe Cronin batting and he's going to walk. Uh, I'm telling you, Lefty Stewart has a real problem with control here in this game. The next guy is going to get a base hit. So we've got the first two runners aboard with nobody out. And Joe Judge is the batter. He's 0 for 1 on the day. And we're going to let him hit. You're not going to bunt with Joe Judge. And he flies out to left field. So there's one down. And that brings up Ozzy Blues. And Ozzy Blues is going to ground a shortstop. Whether it's a double play or not, we'll have to see. And it looks like it's going to be. So we'll maintain a three uh, to one lead with Liska out there dealing to Red Cress, who leads off for St. Louis here. And is that, what is that? A home, was that a home run? No, it doesn't. No, it was an out. So there's one down and Ted Gulick is up. Ted Gulick is going to hit one down the line, though. Or is it, was it foul? No, it, it was foul. So. Two strikes on him, and then he hits the ball to right field. That's going to be a big hit, probably a double or a triple. And uh, looks like a triple. That's a second triple for St. Louis in this game. Puts a guy 90 feet away with only one out. And um, Ski Milo is up. He's going to ground out to shortstop. And um, out chance, no. So I'm going to say no. We're just going to get the guy at first. Now, I know I just gave up another of our runs, but, I mean, it was only a 4% chance to get the dude out at home. So uh, it's 3-2. to two, And um, Liska's going to deal to Frank O'Rourke. Frank O'Rourke was one of the better players, from what I remember, of the 1930 St. Louis Browns. But he does get out. And now the score is 3 2 as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning with Roy Spencer up for us. And Roy Spencer is going to have a base hit. He's got himself a, a hit. Liska now. With Liska up, I am going to sacrifice Bunt or attempt to do that. They come in and they field it, and they're going for the man at second. Did they get him? They did. Yes, they did. So um, we have a man at first now with one down and Buddy Meyer up. And the pitcher is going to make the play over to second. The second baseman is going to throw on to first for a double play, and we're out of the inning. So we go to the top of the fifth. Uh, let's hope I don't have to we, – well, we don't have to see another triple and then give up another one of those runs. That's a fly out to right, so there's one down and lefty Stewart. The pitcher is batting, and he walked. Liska walked him. Man. Lou Blue, the first baseman, another good player from the 30s. He's going to be out at first, but he will advance the runner to second. There's two down with a man at second for St. Louis and Red Bad Grow up. And Red Bradgo is Badgro is going to ground out to short, it looks like. And that'll get St. Louis out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. We are still clinging to a slim 3-2 to two lead with George Lope up. George Lope hits one down the third base line, the throw over to first base. Is it going to be in time? It is. And so there's one down with Heine Manoush. Rain delay, all right. And uh, rain delay, Lefty Stewart is still out there. And Heidi Manouche batting. And he is going to walk. The rain delay obviously didn't help Lefty Stewart. The old Cronin, Joe Cronin is up with one down and one on. And they have a conference at the mound. And then... Uh, the catcher goes back behind the plate. There's a hit up the middle. Looks like it could be a double play. Maybe not, though. And it isn't. 
And so we got Dave Harris up with a man aboard uh, at first base. And Dave Harris is going to hit one down the line. It looks like that. No, no, there's that was uh, that was just a strike. It was just a foul ball, foul line out. Dave Harris still up. And uh, he is out. So we are back in the field. Top of the sixth inning. St. Louis losing 3-2 with Goose Goslin up against Ed Liska. And that is going to be a ground ball through the infield and past the right fielder. And they're going to have another possible triple, these guys. Third triple potentially for St. Louis. Who knew St. Louis was this good at tripling? <laughs> I mean, if you got to be good at something, I guess tripling is good. Cress is 0 for 2. I'm still not going to play the infield in, though. So that's going to be a shallow fly to center field. Let's see if we know we don't get him. So they do tie the game at three. And Ted Gulick is up. Um, he is going to, it looks like, fly out to right. So there is two down now. And Milo is up. I hope we haven't run out of our allotment of runs for this game. because, And it looks like Harris will play the... the uh, the bunt or the pop foul behind the plate. So we're in the bottom of the sixth in a tie game. We have three hits. They have, or we have three runs and four hits. They have three runs and four hits. They've made an error and we haven't. We've left five on base and they've left three. So Lefty Stewart is dealing to Joe Judge here. And Joe Judge hits one, gives it a ride, but it's going to be a fly out to right. Ozzy Bluge is up, and Ozzy Bluge is going to hit one in the hole at short. The shortstop plays the ball. He throws it over to first. Is he safe? No. So he's not, and Roy Spencer is up. And Roy Spencer is going to fly out to center, it looks like. And we're going to the top of the seventh. St. Louis and our Washington uh, Senators are in a deathlock 3-3 three, three tie. And there's a ground ball to Judge. He makes the play. There's one down. And Rick Farrell, the catcher, is up for St. Louis. Another good player from the 30. This, I tell you, the Browns had some good players. That's going to be a uh, ground ball and an out. The pitcher is batting if they don't pinch hit for him here in this 3-3 game, and they don't, and he walks. So uh, the next batter is going to, it looks like, pop out to second base. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh. It's getting late. If we could get a run, if we could score, if we could just push one run across, we might have a shot. But that's a fly ball to center field for the first out. Buddy Meyer is up. Buddy Meyer hits one. Uh, pass shortstop for a double. So he's at second base with one down. We've got a shot here to score a run. George Lope is the center fielder. And George Lope hits it up the middle. Is this going to score a run? Lope single to center. Um, safe chance is 51%. I'm going to say no. We only have one out. I'm not going to chance it. It's a basically 50-50 a coin flip. I don't want to uh, deal with that. And that's going to be, uh, let's see, safe chance, 93%. Washington, send Myers home. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. So he is safe, and we do score a run. But they get two outs from it. But, I mean, you know, who cares? We got the lead. It's 4-3. And... We hit the ball up the middle. Was that a single? Is that a Let's see. I'm going to say yes. 72% chance to be safe. Ooh, that throw is looking at the same time, and he's out. 72% chance, and we blew it. But we still do have the lead. We're going to the top of the eighth. And um, I guess Lisk is getting tired. So um, let's take a look at. The bullpen. Um, Miles Thomas. He 
yeah, we're going to bring Miles Thomas in to pitch, and he's going to bat in Liska's spot because he was tiring, and uh, I didn't want to keep him out there tiring. I'd rather have a fresh Thomas out there. Goslin is up with one down. And that's going to be a fly ball to left, and it is. That's two down, and Red Crest is the batter. And that's going to be a single to center field. So they have a man aboard with two down, and um, Ted Gulick up. And they've got a pinch hitter. McNeely is pinch hitting for Gulick. And that's going to, looks like, be a pop out to shortstop. So, uh, St. Louis fails to score in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, we've got Harris up. Dave Harris is batting. And he is going to fly out to center, shallow center field. Judge is the batter. He's 0 for 3 today. Not having a good day, Joe Judge. And he flies out to shallow center. And that brings up Bluge. And Bluge is out. So... Um, here is the, uh, this is the critical inning right here. St. Louis can tie the game or go ahead with, uh, well, they can tie the game with a run and they can go ahead with two, but, um, if they don't get a run, we win. And that's a fly out to center for the first out. Frank O'Rourke is up, but Sammy Hale is going to pinch hit for Frank O'Rourke. That's a crazy decision. And there is a fly ball to center. So there's two down quickly. And they've got uh, Rick Farrell, the catcher, at the plate. And he does hit it up the middle, but the shortstop is there and throws on to first to judge. Should be the third out. And it is. And we win this game 4-3. to three. So here is the box score, if you care to take a look at the box score. Um, we... Uh, we uh, hit 310 for the game. They hit 266. So, um, we'll take a look at the pitching. Well, no, here, that, let's go back up. I think the pitching is further up here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Liska went 70, allowed four hits and three earned runs. 323 earned run average on the year. And Thomas went two scoreless innings, has a 481 on the year. And uh, for them, Lefty Stewart went the entire game. He dropped a 10 and 5. He pitched eight innings, allowed seven hits, and only two earned runs. Um, but. Uh, he did allow four runs overall because they had they had at least one error and maybe obviously another one. So that is it. Let's see what we were looking at here after all the adjustments come in. And now we're four games up on the Yankees. So that's good. 44 and 22 after 66 games. And uh, we're looking good. Washington looking good. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.